In this video, I will show you how to use the relationship between arcs and central angles to find all of these missing arc measures. All right, let's play that same game one more time with this uh, handful of problems on the, on the second page. So let's find the measure of arc CD. So here is arc CD right here. And uh, we can see the central angle. And uh, the central angle will have the same measure. So that tells us that this arc will be 56 degrees. All right. Um, let's see. I think I'll leave that for now. <clears throat> now it's time to find the measure of arc AB. So here comes arc AB. All right, so let's be careful. So one thing that I know is that uh, segment AD, this chord is a diameter. That means that the uh, top half here is a, is a semicircle. It's 180 degrees. Now, notice the 90 degree angle right here. So, I have the other two angles, so I'm only missing this angle right here. So, I should be able to subtract from 180. So, if I do 180 minus 90 minus 56, that should give me the missing angle. So, that's what I'm going to do. So 180 minus 90 minus 56. So that's 34 degrees. So that tells me that this angle is 34 degrees, which means that the intercepted arc is also, wait, I said 34 degrees, but then I wrote 35 degrees. 34 degrees. Okay, so now we need to find the measure of arc BD. So here is arc BD right here from B to D. So this angle is the sum of 90 degrees and 56 degrees. So that's going to be 100. 46 degrees. Just We're just talking about 90 plus 56. All right, so that's 146 degrees. And uh, the, the central angle and the arc have the same measure. So that means that the arc is also 146 degrees. All right, what about arc AG? Okay, AG is down here. Um, I feel like, nah, I won't change colors just yet. So here is arc AG right here. Now, look at these vertical angles. All right, here and here. All right, you see these vertical angles, you see the X. So that tells me that since this angle is 56 degrees, that means that this angle is also 56 degrees. And if the central angle is 56 degrees, then the intercepted arc is also 56 degrees. So arc AG is 56 degrees. What about arc GF? Okay, uh, I think it's time for me to clean up this drawing. It's getting a little bit cluttered, so I'm going to start fresh now. Starting fresh, my friends. 
Okay, now they want me to find the measure of arc GF. So here is arc GF right here. Okay, um, now here's what, what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to use the fact that uh, these two angles are marked as congruent. That's what these little marks mean. These two angles are the same. So now I'm going to use the following. Look at these vertical angles. Okay, look at this X that's formed when I do this. All right, so can you see that this angle and this angle, these are vertical angles. However, you know what, I'm just gonna keep this in blue. We know that uh, this angle is 90 degrees. So I'm just gonna put a big old 90 right here in blue. All right, they gave us a little box, that's 90 degrees. That means this angle over here is the same. So this is a big old 90 degrees as well. But now we know uh, we've noticed that these two angles are equal. So that means each one of them is exactly half of the whole. So if the whole blue angle is 90 degrees, half of 90 is 45. So that means this is a 45 degree angle and this is a 45 degree angle. All right, they add up to 90. Um, the word for that is complementary, by the way. Those two angles are complementary. They add up to 90. Anyway, what we care about right now, though, is uh, we're looking for the measure of arc GF. So that arc is the arc that goes with um, the 45 degree angle. So that means arc GF is uh, 45 degrees. Okay, how about arc DE? Okay, what's the easiest way to find arc DE? Okay, so I just paused the video and I, I was thinking of about four different ways that I could find um, arc DE. Um, here's one of them. I could notice that this angle right here is a big old 90 degrees, and that's because this chord is a diameter. So that means uh, we have a semicircle over here. So this blue angle and this red angle together have to make 180 degrees. So 90 plus 90 is 180, so this has to be 90 degrees. Um, so if this whole angle is 90 degrees, and then notice that um, this portion of the angle is 56 degrees. So um, we can just subtract 56 from 90 to find out what this portion is gonna be. So I could do 90, let me make this a tiny bit bigger. Uh, I could do 90 minus 56. So that's gonna be 34. So the answer is going to be 34. Um, so I thought of that along with uh, like a couple of other ways that I could find this answer. But then I wondered what if students didn't notice that? That, that doesn't necessarily jump right out at you. So um, I want to show you one other way that we could find it that maybe you'd be more likely to see. Um, and here it is. Let's use this diameter again. All right. But this time, I will just directly use the fact that we are looking at a semicircle right here. This is a semicircle. So it has to add up to 180 degrees. So um, notice I've got 90 degrees 
and then I've got 56 degrees, and then the only missing piece is this little question mark right here. So uh, it would be pretty easy to just do 180 minus 90 minus 56, which in a way is what I was doing already. But uh, this way is a way that I think you might notice on your own. So 180 minus 90 uh, minus 56. Oh, look, 34 degrees, just like I said. So now we know that this angle right here is 34 degrees. And that means that the arc, the intercepted arc, or okay, that goes right here, is also 34 degrees. Because the angle, the central angle, and the intercepted arc have the same measure. So this will be 34 degrees. And that is arc DE. Okay, I think I will erase and start over. I decided to erase everything except for the, 35, the 34 degrees we just found because um, that'll come in handy. So next we're supposed to find the measure of arc BDG. So here is arc BDG, the long way around, BDG. So that's what we have to find the measure of. Now, if you look carefully, you'll notice that we know all of the angles that make up this very large angle. So for example, see the box there? Remember, we know that this is 90 degrees. Remember that um, we have vertical angles right here. Um, which makes this 90 degrees as well. And there you have it. We have 90, 56, 34, and 90. Those are all of the angles. Uh, so if I add up all of those angles, that will give me the central angle that basically goes like this. All right, I'm gonna add these up and get the central angle. And the central angle will have the same measure as the arc. So I'm um, just going to do 90 plus 90 plus 56 plus 34. That is 270. All right, so that's it. That means the central angle is 270, which means that the arc, the intercepted arc, is 270 degrees. All right, there are several other ways I could have done that, but that one is good enough. Um, okay, let me erase some stuff just in case. All right, I'm going to leave this 34 sitting there just in case we need it again. Next, we're supposed to find the measure of arc DBA. All right, where is that? So there's D and there's B and there's A. Okay, well that's gonna be pretty simple. So here is arc D, B, A. And I'm hoping it's jumping out at you. Did you notice that this is a diameter? Which means that this is a semicircle. So it's automatically 180 degrees. Don't have to think any further than that. Uh, you know what, let me erase this. All right, so that is 180 degrees. Okay, AEC, arc AEC is next, AEC. So here comes arc AEC. So uh, we have almost everything we need. So let's use that same strategy again. Let's look at uh, let's look at the central angles 
that go all around in here. Okay, let's look at all of these angles that go around like this. All right, what do, what do we know? So we know that, uh, well, we have the 56. And notice the vertical angles. So we have vertical angles surrounding that 56. Okay, do you see the vertical angles right here? That means if this is 56, then this angle over here will be 56. Control Z, Control Z. All right, so that means we know that this is 56. And uh, we've done this a few times already before, but just don't forget we have the vertical angles right here, which means that um, this is 90 and this double angle right here is also 90 because these are vertical angles. And that gives us everything, everything we need. Okay, we don't actually need that right now. So we have all of these angles in here. So we can just add them all up. We're gonna add 56 and 90 and 34 and 56. Okay, you know what? Um, well, I feel a little bit silly, not like super silly, but like maybe slightly silly because a quicker thing to do that would have saved me some trouble would be to um, use the semicircle. All right, see this diameter? Um, so we clearly have a semicircle going, you know, from here to here. So that's 180 degrees so far. So it's really just 180 plus an extra 56. So that would be quicker. So 180 plus the extra 56. All right, you would get the same answer either way, but this way is more intelligente. So 236, right? Right. Okay, what's next? Um, let me erase some stuff to get ready. Okay, arc CAF. Okay, let's see, there's C, there's A, there's F. So here is arc CAF like this. All right, um, let's see, this time I'm not going to make the same mistake I made before. I am going to use my semicircle this time. So here's my semicircle right now. Okay. So th this is 180 degrees already. So all I really need is um, this little portion right here, which I found uh, a while back. Remember that um, this over here was 90 degrees, which means this whole area over here is 90 degrees, but that means that this little piece of it is 45 degrees, it's half, all right, because these are marked equal. Okay, so I know that this is 45 degrees, and that's what I'm about to use right now. So I have 180 degrees, plus an extra 45 degrees for the top for the whole thing two twenty five okay what about the measure of arc ACF Okay, there's A. All right, so here comes arc A, 
C F. All right, let's definitely use a semicircle as a shortcut. All right, so here's a nice semicircle that I could use. So there is 180 degrees from here to here, right? So that's 180 degrees plus an extra. All right, I just need to add on these extra couple of pieces. Um, both of these are 45. So I'm going to do 180 plus 34 plus 45. All right, that takes me to F. That's 259 degrees. All right, last one, arc BCA. Okay, BCA. Wow, this is the long way around. All right, BCA. So here's A right here, but I have to go through C. So it's going to be B, C, all the way around. Keep going, keep going, keep going, all the way back to A. So there is arc BCA. Um, I think it will be quickest if we do a subtraction. So uh, you can see that this is almost the entire circle. It's the entire circle except for this little red part right here. So all we need to do is start with 360 degrees and just subtract the little red part. Um, now what is the little, the little red part? Well, vertical angles. Am I right? Vertical angles help us a lot. So I'm going to draw this X highlighting the vertical angles and hopefully it's jumping out at you. So if this is 34 degrees, then that means this is 34 degrees. All right, which means that this little red arc is 34 degrees. So that is what we need to subtract from 360, the missing piece. So 360 minus 34 degrees. That's two, 326 degrees.